Uh, it was the 70s. I had spent three very, very confusing years training at uh, UCT Ballet School. Um, disillusioned, I ran away and I met up with uh, an old friend from ballet school, Diane Sparks, and I went to teach for her and Sheila Opperman for a short while in Vintuk, at the Vintuk Dancing, at the Vintuk Dance Academy. Because I was no longer studying, the army called me up for a three-month camp, which then put pay to my job at the Vintuk Dance Academy. After the military training on the border, it was border duty, I got danger pay. Uh, I was back in the Macroland unemployed. So I started teaching in the region and we uh, created the Namakwalanse Dance Gesellschap. Knew nothing about funding for the arts. It was a concept that I was not aware of at all. Had no idea that the arts should be funded. We just worked on it. I wanted to create a, a ballet. That was the vocabulary that I used because that was the training that I had. I had no idea who Ravel was um, anyway. So we created the very first version of Bolero here in 1976. Um, uh, when I look back on it, the choreography was, to say the least, unimaginative. But it was the start of a very, very long journey. The uh, culminated in a training process that exists today that is unique and that produces technically very strong dancers. 